What is going on guys? Robert here with the Back Satchel Hunters or just Robert in general. Just uh, kind of playing around. Uh, yesterday we learned of a new little trick to add uh, a little bit more sound suppression to an already relatively quiet pistol platform. Uh, I've been running an Octane 45 HD suppressor primarily on my suppressed 1911. I've uh, got a Glock 19, of course 9mm we run suppressed and of course the submachine gun. I've never run that suppressor wet for anything before. Uh, last week we got, I guess, the economical version uh, of, of any type of wet media for a suppressor and we used water from the water hose. And it did do a, uh, it made a noticeable difference really as far as sound reduction. I know quite a few decibels less than just standard dry can, uh, but it was messy. We looked like Dalmatians after three or four rounds. I mean, the slide was covered, there's water blowing back out of the action. We were covered in carbon and everything else. So uh, there was a little trick I learned about in another video that a guy had recommended some uh, ultrasound gel. In other words, gel they use for ultrasounds in the medical field. So we've got, uh, actually have just that here. Uh, it's like $5 off eBay for what, an eight and a half ounce tube. And it doesn't take a lot. Uh, so I'm gonna do a video here. We just had a quick minute to drop by the farm. I was gonna drop five rounds dry. I'll disassemble the can. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of this inside each baffle within the stack, all the way back to, back to the blast chamber. I probably won't put anything back there. Um, then I'll shoot five rounds with it. Now the benefit of this stuff, you can see on the uh, tube itself, it is salt free and hypoallergenic, I guess is good. Biggest thing is pretty well, anytime you're shooting a can, you know you're going to get blowback from the action of the firearm itself. Uh, not to mention carbon, pieces of jacket separation, uh, unburnt powder, a lot of times it's a good idea to wear eye protection anyways. Uh, however, uh, even for the cleanest shooting firearms, uh, that stuff's gonna get all over your skin when you're using like 3M uh, wire pulling lube that you'd use in conduit or stuff most guys use for shooting through suppressors. There's still gonna be like a buildup and a residual amount of that stuff inside the baffle, inside the action of your firearm, and not to mention on your face, on your skin, whatever. So this stuff, from what I figured out yesterday, we shot I think 20 rounds uh, last night at my buddy's house. Of course, obviously the first five or six are gonna be the quietest and as uh, the temperatures rise and as it starts to more or less form a vapor and uh, evaporate and kind of break down that gel, um, it's going to get louder and louder. So the nice thing about it though is what's left uh, is not going to damage the firearm. It's not, I mean it's safe if it gets all over your face and your eyes are on your skin because it's made for that application or that purpose anyways. Uh, but it's also just a lot cleaner and actually smells pretty good. Uh, so anyways, I'm going to shoot five rounds with a can dry, five rounds wet. And uh, then, of course, I guess I'll show you the host we're going to be running here. Uh, just my trusty little uh, Glock 19, a little fourth gen here. I'll be running 100 and, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let me just see. Let me just get the uh, ammo we got here. 147 grain, just the old Browning, uh, kind of a little flat-pointed bullet. Uh, but anyways, they seem to do well in the subgun when they feed reliably, and they are subsonic. So anyways, uh, without further ado, here we go. So, five rounds with the suppressor dry. Let's give it a shot, literally. Quiet, but not super quiet. All right, so now we're gonna take the suppressor and Disassemble it real quick to add the ultrasound gel. Boom! Mm, isn't that beautiful? We'll probably just add it in the first few baffles here in the stack. I'll leave these last two baffles and the blast baffle dry. Actually, I may even leave. Yeah, we'll just go do all these. So what we did yesterday was take your handy dandy ultrasound gel, just put a little bead just like toothpaste <laughs> around each one here. I've had people asking what are the I guess the purpose of this or the benefit. Uh, the biggest thing is obviously you're technically taking up space that you have inside your baffles for room for the gases to expand. However, a gel or any form of liquid media 
inside a baffle is also going to add a cooling effect. It's turning those hot gases into cooler gases and of course as this heats up it becomes somewhat of a vapor which also is going to trap more of that expanding gas and slow it down and reduce its temperature before it exits the muzzle um, following the bullet. So of course that's the blast shield. So, or not the blast shield but the end cap. So let's go ahead and reassemble this baffle stack. A lot of these are just kind of color coded from heat treatment it looks like. Um, put the cleaner ones in the back since they've been fired in a similar method over the last little bit. Oh man, it seems like every other one's blue and gold. As you see, those don't click together. Grab this one here. I'm trying to get all these grooves kind of turned in the proper orientation. And there it is. Beautiful little baffle stack. Of course, want to look down through there. Of course, you can't see on the camera. So I did leave the little half baffle and the end cap dry as well as the last two baffles behind inside the, uh, the blast area. So now let's go run this thing one more time, five rounds wet. Alrighty, so now we've got the same Octane 45 on a nine millimeter Glock with the suppressor wet in the first few baffles with ultrasound gel. Good old hospital gear on a, on a pistol. Let's see what kind of a difference we've got in sound reduction. significantly quieter than prior 